Hello and welcome to another one of my tech how-to videos and in this video we're going to be looking at how to fix the um, PDP controller issue with it not working in Windows 10 or in a game like Forza 4 Horizon running on Windows 10 PC. So this is the one we've got, it's the Xbox One and Windows compatible controller, Stealth Series Phantom Black. Not that this particularly, uh, um, particularly matters to this problem but I'm just showing you it's this model one uh, it's the wired one and it says in here um, that you can install an app to control the settings if we go to the web it's, where is it this is it here I'm on the website here and it says this is the app you can control all the settings on it and it's available by the Windows Store so if we look at the Windows Store Microsoft Store we just search for it on here and then we install it PDP Control Hub so this is, the, as I said, it's the wired one. I've got it plugged in via USB. It's quite a nice controller. Um, the problem is, is Windows picks it up, but it doesn't work in the control hub, nor does it work in Forza 4 Horizon, for example. It will just say the controller's been found, but it doesn't know what it is. It's not that exact message, but it is along those lines. So let's launch the control app. So as you can see, the controller is connected because it's got the white light on it. Turn that down a bit. And that's just running through all the different controls and what you do. So it's connect it's connected but it's not showing up here. And the reason why that is is because the drivers it's automatically installed aren't the right ones. So what you need to do on your Windows 10 PC this uh, video was made in September 2020 and I'm running all the latest Windows updates. You need to go to right click my PC and go properties, device manager and you'll see here that we have a devices as PDP controller for Xbox One. This, this isn't right, it doesn't work so what you need to do is go to update driver Browse compute for drivers. Let me pick from a list. And the one you want to pick is the Xbox gaming device version 2019. Go next. That'll install the updated driver for it. It does ask me to restart, but I'll try and get away with not restarting. And as you can see now, it's changed from the PDP gaming device to Xbox peripherals, Xbox gaming device. And now if we open up the app again, we will need to unplug. So we will need to restart. Let's restart then. So we'll just restart Windows. This won't take a minute. So just to clarify, this is the wired version of the controller, not the wireless. And this is only based on my experience fixing it. I'm not saying this is the 100% right way to fix it. But this is just based on me trying to get it to work. And I'm hoping this video helps anybody else who has a uh, similar problem. I was wondering why something like this isn't just isn't working, basically. Right, PC starting back up now. We'll just type the password. So we go back to device manager. As we can see, it's Xbox peripheral still. Okay, and we've got a light on the controller here as well. Say so it's on. And let's launch this. PDP controller app and as you can see the controller is now picked up so I'm not exactly sure why why that doesn't work defaultly you would have thought it was it's a plug-and-play device being USB it should work but it doesn't so I'm just hoping if you have this same problem this video helps you out um, and as you can see you can just literally go on there now and change all the settings so um, thanks for watching